Hi class, today we're going to review what we did in, in lecture working with UI view controllers in a UI scroll view. So first let's set up a new project. You see we're in the new Xcode 4.2. We'll go ahead and select the empty application template. This will provide us with the basic app delegate for our app. What we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to create our own custom view controllers. So let's create new files. We want them to be a subclass of UI view controller. We'll just name it my view controller. Now we're in our My View Controller. Let's go ahead and uncomment the load view since we're doing this programmatically. We'll throw in a log statement so that we can make sure that we're getting here. And what we're going to want to do is since we're going to be loading in the My View Controller, is we're going to want to import, make sure to import uh, My View Controller. so that our app delegate knows about it. So let's go down here in the application did finish launching with options method. Okay, now all we're going to do is create an instance of um, my view controller. controller. We'll call it MVC. We're just going to alloc and init it. Now we're going to create a navigation controller that's going to help our application present more than one view controller. So we're going to do a UI navigation controller. We're going to add like an init it. We're going to use a method called init with root view controller. And the root view controller is going to be our custom model view controller that we just created an instance of. Now the navigation controller is has a reference to it. It's retaining our my view controller, so we can go ahead and release that. Now we're going to set our window root view controller to be the navigation controller. The only difference between what we did here and for the previous assignment is that you had the root view controller of the window point to your custom view controller. Alright, let's go ahead and see how this works. So we saw that we're in load view and we saw the navigation bar at the top so we know that our navigation controller is being loaded. Okay, let's go into my view controller. We're going to customize it. Since this view controller is done completely programmatically, we can get rid of the init with nib name. All right, we're going to add a main view, a UI view that will essentially cover our entire screen. In this way, we can add all our sub views directly to this view. All right, so we're going to init with the size of the UI screen, main screen, bounds. Add the UI view controller's view property. We're going to set that to be the main view that we just created. Just to make sure that we know that it loaded, let's change the color to UI color, yellow color. And that way we'll be, make sure that we can see it when we run it. Okay, so we go ahead and run it and we see that we have the yellow background color. So now our custom view controller is loading a main view. It's setting it as the, the view property for the view controller. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our scroll view. Just so we can make sure that we this got loaded properly, we'll go ahead and assign it to UI color red color so we can see it on the screen. We'll set the paging enabled to get the paging effect. We'll set the content size to be the width of five pages or five times the width of the visible screen, in this case the iPad, so 768 times five. And then we're going to add our this scroll view to the main view. Now main view is retaining it, so we can go ahead and release it. We run it, we see our yellow main view and our red scroll view, and we'll scroll along, and it's working fine. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add our buttons. The idea is to put a single button on each page, and we'll load it up here. You'll see that each page has a unique button. Okay, we're going to add a target action uh, touch event method. In this way, when we tap on the button, we're going to see in the console which button we're clicking. So it's button 1, button 2, button 3, button 4. To customize the look and feel of the app, we're going to set the navigation bar to hidden. No more navigation bar. Next, we're going to go back to our custom view controller and add a new UI button info button. So the button with type is UI button, 
type info dark will set a target action method show info screen that when we tap the button it's going to present a new UI view controller. So we need to go over and we'll create our new view controller called info view controller. This time we're going to make it a zip file using interface builder just to show how you can mix and match between the two of them whether you do it programmatically or interface builder that you can add either one of them to the navigation controller. We're going to add a label to our view controller. We'll just set it to info screen so we know we're there. And then let's go back to our my view controller and we're going to import the header file for our new info view controller. So we're back down in our show info screen method. We're going to first create an instance of our info view controller. Since we're using interface builder and we're going to in it with a nib name and we'll just give it the name info view controller and set the bundle to nil which will mean it'll look in the top uh, root level directory. And now we're going to tell our navigation controller to present modal view controller or IVC and animate it, yes, which means it's going to rise up from the bottom. Okay, so now our view controller is retaining our info view controller, so we can release it and let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see we have our scroll view still works, we have our info button, we pop it up, and our navigation controller presented a new view controller that showed us the info screen. Okay, since it's a modal view controller, uh, essentially it will prevent you from doing any sort of uh, actions on any of their screens below. It'll take the incomplete focus of the application and freeze it there. And so, we're going to want to make sure to have a way to dismiss it. So we're going to create another UI button. We're going to make a connection. Create an action called Remove Info Screen. So now when you touch this button, it's going to hide this info screen and dismiss it from our navigation controller. You can see that Interface Builder created this method for us called Remove Info Screen. And so we're just going to pass along self, dismiss, modal view controller, animated. We'll set that to yes. So, okay, let's run our app. We see our scroll view still works. We have our info button. We hit it. We hit the button and it dismisses the new view controller. I hope this helps understand how UI navigation controllers work with view controllers to present different information.